Hey, this is Austin, and in today's special edition of the Points Unknown channel, we are diving right into winter and showing how we installed Apache LT360 tracks on this Can-Am Defender side-by-side. -side. A side-by-side -side is arguably essential equipment around the farm, right up there with a the tractor. But when deep, wet winter snows come to the Pacific Northwest, four-wheel drive alone isn't going to cut it. But adding tracks to the Can-Am Defender makes it pretty much unstoppable. And while installation of the tracks is pretty straightforward, there are some tricks to getting it done easily. Let's get started. First, break the lug nuts loose on the two front wheels. For safety, do this while the front wheels are still on the ground. The lug nuts take a 17 mm socket. Next, jack up the front of the side-by-side. -side. I like to lift both front wheels up at the same time from the center of the vehicle. This is a little awkward, but gives more room for access to the lower control arms and attaching the anti-rotation assembly. Remove one of the front wheels. Then remove the drive boot protector using a T25 Torx bit and 8mm wrench. The tracks I have include a handy sticker indicating the placement of each track. Remove the stored hardware and brackets from the track anti-rotation assembly. I found that having the outer bolt pre-installed on the bottom of the assembly makes for the easiest installation. Plus, once the bolt is in there, it's hard to remove. Then wrestle the track into position, aligning the hub into a perfect cross with the opposite lug bolts directly horizontal or vertical from each other allows you to access all four lug nut placements, with one of the lug nuts being accessed through the center of the track. Lightly tighten each lug nut with a 17mm deep socket. I use silver anti-seize on every nut and bolt used during the install of the tracks. This makes for much easier disassembly come springtime. Attach the anti-rotation assembly by first placing the two inner bolts through the lower control arm and affixing the top plate. Lightly thread the nuts on the bolts, but leave plenty of slack for adjustment. The outer bolt in the front anti-rotation assembly is the most difficult part of this install. I have had the best luck threading the bolt into its mounting hole to be just flush with the top of the control arm. Then I place the nut on top and carefully thread it by rotating the bolt from the bottom. Both nut and bolt are 14 mm There is so little room to hold the nut on top, a thin open-ended wrench is critical here. And even then, I'm only able to hold it by the very corners of the wrench. Once all three bolts are in place on the anti-rotation assembly, you can tighten everything up. The inner two bolts are 15 mm I use a ratchet with a 15mm socket on the bottom and a 15mm offset wrench on the top. Next, reinstall the dry boot protector using the two T25 bolts and 8mm nuts. The procedure is the same for the other front track. Similarly, for the rear tracks, first start by breaking the lug nuts free while the wheels are still on the ground. Then, carefully lift up the rear end. Here again, I prefer lifting from the center to make more room for the install. Wrestle the rear track into position. I find it best to get the track mounted on the hub first, but not place the lug nuts yet, as this provides more flexibility for pulling the anti-rotation arm into position. The ball joint on the anti-rotation arm gets placed in the bracket on the bottom of the rear control arm. The nut and bolt are both 18 mm Once that's done, I go ahead and install the lug nuts. Lightly tighten each lug nut with a 17 mm deep socket.
The process is the same on the other side. Once all four tracks are in place, lower the vehicle back down and tighten all the lug nuts up. Make sure everything settles into position and check for tightness on the other bolts as well. Thanks for watching this special edition of Points Unknown TV. If you have questions about the install, please leave a comment. If you like what you saw, please press that like button. If you want to keep on seeing videos from Points Unknown, go ahead and subscribe. It's time to let it snow. Thanks for watching and enjoy the ride.